One of the greatest powers of Conga Composer is the ability to use data from Salesforce reports in the merge process. This video will show you how to build a Salesforce report to work with Conga Composer. Reports work with all of our template types, so please refer to the template-specific skills sessions for further information on how to build merge fields for report data in templates. Start on the Salesforce Reports tab and click New Report. Choose the report type that accommodates both your master object and your detail object. In my case, this is the Opportunities Report type because Account is my master object and Opportunity will be my detail. Conga Composer also supports custom report types. The columns you add to the report are those that will be available to use on your template. I only need a few fields, so I'll start by removing all columns. Then I'll add back in opportunity name, close date, stage, and amount. Normally, you don't include any ID columns in the report, but if you do, position them at the far right side of the report as the very last column. Since I only want opportunities related to a particular account, the one I'm launching Conga Composer from, I'll use Conga Composer to dynamically filter this report by passing in the account ID for the account record we launch Composer from. Let's set up the report filter to receive an account ID. The field is account ID, the operator is equals, and the value is left blank. Conga Composer will dynamically populate this filter with the account ID when the Composer button is launched. Because I'm filtering the report to one specific account record and we want the report to retrieve all opportunities related to the given account, I set the remaining filters to be as general as possible. However, if your requirements are such that you only need detail records of a certain sort, feel free to customize the additional report filters but maintain the master object ID filter in the first position. I'm saving the report using the best practice naming convention. The name of my master object, account, the name of my composer solution, account brief, and the name of the data retrieved in this report, also known as the report alias, opportunities. Choose Conga Composer reports as the folder and return to the report. Now, I double-click on the report ID in the Salesforce URL and copy it to my clipboard. I'll add this report ID to my Conga Composer account brief solution by editing that button in Salesforce Setup. I enter the parameter ampersand report ID equals, so Composer knows to run a Salesforce report as part of my merge process. I paste the report ID after the equal sign. Lastly, I enter the report alias, the same one I referenced in the report name, in between the equal sign and the first digit of the report ID, then surround the alias on either side by square brackets. I'll save my changes to the button, and the data for my report will be available next time I launch Conga Composer. Lastly, Launching my account brief Conga Composer button from an account will display the report in the Conga template builder. The report alias is used as the dataset name. I can now reference this report data in my template and build further reports to accommodate other related objects using these same principles. Time for a self high five! You can now use Salesforce reports in Conga Composer solutions, allowing you to pull data from related objects and greatly expand the available data for use in your Composer solutions.